Hey guys, it's Colin again, and welcome back to CSS Hero Academy. In this lesson, I'm going to give you an explanation of hero-ready themes. So if we head on over to cssHero.org and we go up to the menu up here and we click on Compatible Themes and Demos. So I'm going to go up there, click on that. This is going to load up all the themes that have been pre-mapped ready for CSS Hero already. So we've got Make, would have been the, the latest one that's added. Okay, uh, Enfold, we've had a demo of that one just recently. Uh, the typical the standard WordPress ones, as in 2015, 2014, 2013, those are all there. Very popular Divi one from Elegant Themes, right through the Genesis framework, page lines, the Ultimatum theme, that's a huge theme in the WordPress world. And we've got so many themes here. There's the Woo Themes Canvas. If we keep scrolling down here, the tons and tons of themes have already been mapped out for CSS Hero. So basically, how does this work? Well, all these themes here have been pre-mapped. All the CSS elements have been pre-identified and loaded into CSS Hero. So if you actually have one of these themes and load up the CSS Hero plugin, it knows where all the elements are in your theme and makes it very easy to change. So I'm going to demonstrate that. Right now, if I go over here and click on this tab, I have the Divi 2 theme installed and loaded. This is from Elegant Themes. It's one of the hero-ready themes, and so all the elements on here have been mapped. Now, if I click on the CSS Hero icon over here, it's going to start up. I'm going to click on the targeting tool, and as I hover over all the elements here, you'll see that they automatically get detected. So, for example, there's the header for that particular slider. We've got the button down here. We've got all the menu items. We've got the we've got the background. These icons down here. All these elements have been pre-mapped, and so CSS Hero knows where they all are in the Divi theme. So that's how it works with a hero-ready theme. Now, if I show you a, a theme that's not hero-ready, I'm going to turn this on, and what's going to happen is CSS Hero is going to detect that it's not a hero-ready theme. So when I click on the targeting tool, it's going to suggest that because this is not a hero-ready theme, it's not doesn't have native support, I would like to turn on rocket mode. If I don't turn on rocket mode, CSS Hero cannot pick up any of these things. Okay, But if I turn on the special mode, rocket mode, I'm going to turn it on right now. Click OK on the beta test. Now, what CSS Hero has done is gone out and actually tried to find all these elements. So when I click on the targeting tool, it will find these elements. Now, in previous versions, it wouldn't. It would have just ignored everything here. But Rocket Mode ensures that you can still find some of the elements on here. But there will be elements that Rocket Mode won't be able to detect. And that's the difference between a hero-ready theme and a non-hero-ready theme. All the elements on a hero-ready theme have been pre-selected so that they're there. So if we go back to our Divi theme over here, no matter which part of the Divi theme that we select on, you'll find that they've all been added and you won't have any problem making changes. So if you want to check out which theme, if your theme is hero ready, just head on over to the cssHero.org site. Go to the compatible themes and demos and scroll through here. If you see it on here, it means that your theme is hero ready and ready to go with CSS Hero out of the box. If your theme is not here, no worries. Rocket mode works so well that you'll be able to pick up all those elements as well. So that's it for today. I'll see you in the next lesson. Thanks a lot. Bye now.